everyone, I'm Carter Culver, and I'm here at Whitefish High School for a rivalry doubleheader. As the Bulldogs are hosting the Columbia Falls Wildcats with the girls sipping off first. Let's see who came away with the win and bragging rights. In the girls game, Taryn Borgen got things started with this layup for the Wildcats to put them on the board first. And then it was Annika Lawrence, draining one from downtown to put Columbia Falls up 10-2 to start the game. Hope McAtee had this block on the other end of the court to keep Whitefish at bay early on. But then, Bailey Smith nailed this deep three-pointer to give the Bulldogs some life before the half. In the second half, Borgen took over for Columbia Falls with shots like this corner three and the and one and went on to finish the night with 25 as the Wildcats absolutely rolled to a dominant 48-23 win in the first game of the night. Next, it was the boys, and both teams traded blows to start the game, locked at 10 apiece. But then, it was Columbia Falls who caught fire and started raining down threes, like this one from Cody Schweiker that was followed up moments later with another from downtown, this time from Allen Anderson, to close out the opening quarter with a bang and put the Wildcats on top 20-10 to to cap off a huge 10-0 run. The threes continued for Columbia Falls as Dana too drained this beautiful nothing but net shot from the top of the arc. Whitefish rallied some in the second half, but it was the three point shooting that made the difference between the two sides. And Jace Hill who took over for the Wildcats and was absolutely surgical from behind the arc with back to back threes splashing their way through the net as he had the bench firing on all cylinders after he nailed this one at the end of the third quarter. His 20-point night continued into the fourth quarter, and the Wildcats went on to complete the rivalry sweep with a comfortable 58-45 win over the Bulldogs. In Whitefish, Carter Culver, MTN Sports.